Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So before I get into the actual video, I'll show you some of the highlights and things that happened on Saturday's game away at Kingston. <laughs> see from the highlights in the end it was a good point away from home um, against a decent gated side that currently sit in the playoffs um, but it sounded like on the radio that we were the better team before they scored um, so it was disappointing to concede I guess but I think when Alabi got sent off I don't know it was it was bad really it was a bad challenge he deserved to be sent off and it's just questionable you know why you would get sent off when your team's 1-0 down, you know, with like 10 minutes to play. I don't, I, I don't know why you'd get sent off. Well, you don't really need to make that challenge. It's not like he's taking someone out so they don't have a one-on-one -on -one at goal. He's taking someone out by the dugout mid midway point of the pitch. And I don't know, it's questionable. I don't, I don't, I, he shouldn't have done it. He deserves to be to, to have been sent off from, from it and could have cost us in the end. And uh, as you can see, Ekpeteta came up with the goods again. Um, so there's two goals from this season and it was a good finish as well for us. But enough about that game, now on to, today, to today's game, um, which is probably one of our easier tests so far this season in terms of the table. We've had a pretty hard run in um, in the opening games, but this one is a little bit easier for us, I think, in terms of where, where Dover are in the table and their form's been awful. Um, I, I see us winning today quite comfortably, um, but I don't want to jinx it. My score prediction is going to be 4-1 or in. Um, I've seen them on the National League highlights and they do look a really poor side, but again, we are only six games into the season and, you know, you know they could find their form at any point and, you know, today is a chance for them to prove themselves and, you know, if they do get a win, a massive win for them. So I think it'll be a comfortable win for us, but I can see them causing... Us problems as well. I think any team can cause us problems. Um, you know, go with the same lineup that started against Gateshead, and it was good to see Harold and Gorman come on um, at Gateshead as well after their injury problems. So I'm quite excited for this one. This is the perk of being in the National League. You know, getting Bank Holiday Monday football, which doesn't happen in the Football League or the Premier League. So let's get down to Brisbane Road. Up the other Let's go on the ground. Position. We've got some yeah, no, really, really, really well, tall players. It was never a free kick. Oh, Everything to sure just out strengthening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is wasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah, some good one, two plays in uh, one touch football and nice passes. Um, back enough shot. This went wide in the right hand side of the post, but unlucky. 
grown to the game and um, it looks at the minute as if the goal's coming on. Callum Brill, that's you. Brill. Well done, well done. That's better. Come on. Keep going. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Yards out, the keeper somehow managed to get across and uh, put it behind for a corner, but that is a, an amazing save. Two minutes at a time. Come on, We've got a corner. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's right. I don't what's up, yeah. I think he's gonna put it wrong into the box. Yeah, that's right. I mean you can't tell what half, you know. This is clean, no, he's not that dumb, is he? But well, uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Half time, 0-0. Probably been the better team and had the better chances, but we haven't had that end product, you know. They've, they've caused us problems, they're a massive team, and they look dangerous going forward, uh, especially balls in the air and set pieces, which you gave too many away. But going forward, getting in behind, we look like getting the goal. I think we've been the better team, but second half, no, I'd even put Harold on, someone to compete with their centre halves, because they've got about a six foot seven geese on the back. He's massive, he's winning everything that Grill puts long, or everything comes long. So, I think we'll carry on the way we ended the first half, we'll probably win the game, but I think maybe put Harold on. Um, we don't really have any wingers now on the bench, do we? Because uh, Brophy's uh, injured, so maybe drop Coroma to the wing and uh, put Harold up top. It might work, it might be more effective. But so far, it's not been so bad. I still think we'll win the game. Uh, let's see what's second. Back it up, keep it out of there, has gone under him. Come on. Should be out of sight by now, it's probably about 10 minutes to play. comes 
one. It's been a long time since I've seen him. I know he came on against it, but hopefully he can maybe have a goal. Great way to feel up the game. Come on. Brilliant. Three times, three nil. Come on. Great for me. Probably the best of the season so far. I apologise for putting the vlog out later than what I normally do. It's because um, I, I didn't have enough time to edit when I got in last night. And I've got to sort my college stuff out. I've got my registration thing today. So I'll edit it today um, and put it up tonight. So my thoughts on the first half, I think it was an even contest, especially the first sort of 15, 20 minutes. Um, they were with a better team. They came out and attacked us. Um, but I see that a lot of teams coming um, to Brisbane Road where that first sort of 15, 20 minutes, they go all out. Um, and in a way, if they don't get that goal, it's like in boxing, if you punch yourself out, that's what they kind of do. Um, and then, you know, we sort of get into the game a little bit. So as the half, first off, um, got on, we, we got into the game more. Um, we had a couple of chances, um, but nil-nil at half-time was, was the first score, really. Um, second half, we came out, and I think it was the best um, football we've played. Uh, all season really in that second half we, we were brilliant and you know we created a lot of chances and they didn't really get near us at all um, we were very dominant I think Clay and Lee ran everything in midfield um, the wingers Dayton and McEnough were getting some good crosses in and we, we forced a lot of pressure before our first goal getting a few corners and then it came um, sort of from a corner it came back out to Joby and then he uh, he, he got a bit of luck, he, he smashed it near post and the keeper sort of tried to palm it away and it's gone into the net but you know we deserve to go 1-0 up and we, you know sometimes you need a bit of luck. Um, we left it late to get our second sort of 10 minutes from, from time but you know we were still really trying to get that second goal, the insurance goal even when we were 1-0 up and you know even though we went 1-0 up though we didn't really look like coming back in the game and of course you'd have thought they'd come at back at us to try and uh, salvage a point but they didn't and um, I, I think it was Dayton that played a through ball and split the defenders for Karoma he literally in the middle of them and he has a one on one and he tucks it away nicely it was a great finish um, and, and at that point I think that was game over really with sort of 10 minutes to play um, a couple of subs were made Harold came on and uh, you know, it was deep in added time I think maybe 92nd, 93rd minute, um, Judd puts in a great delivery and then Harold just heads it home and um, I want to clear this up actually, I did say um, a few a few days ago on Twitter, I didn't, I didn't know if Harold was the answer and I think I thought that because of he's, he's been injured a lot, um, you know, and, he, and he's not really, yeah, he's not really played for us that much and what I have seen, I, I don't think he's impressed me that much, but Today, as I think I saw a different, different version of him really, because he, you know, that header that he scored was was brilliant, and I think he's a suited player to the division as well. You know, he can handle the f uh, physicality of of the centre halves in in the division, which is key. And you need a big target man like that, and that's what we brought him in for last season. I don't think he sort of suited that role well, but I think he's looked he's looked good since coming back from injury, and you know, uh, it's important to have players like him in a team because you know I think we need a target man I think every every team does in this division and if he keeps up like that then then he'll score a lot of goals and you know f fair play to him really because he sort of changed my opinion on him as well in such a short space of time but you know we've got a long way to go in the season yet but today was a was a great performance well yesterday was a great performance and you know we thoroughly deserved the win that puts us up to fifth in the league table 
not that it necessarily means much, but you know, it's nice to still to just be in there um, for positivity. I think around in the mood around the the camp. To but conclude the video. I'll leave you with this picture. But please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next week away at Chesterfield. I didn't do player ratings on this video because I haven't had the time to do the editing for it. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you for the away game at Chesterfield next Saturday. Up goes.